Uh, Luke's log. Star date, March 3rd, 2018. I'm tired, and I've been thinking most of the day of places I've never been, and yet I miss. Like places you've read about in books, or, or played through in some video game. Some field that you fought bandits in, or some spaceship that you flew through the cosmos. And I'm missing places like this. But that's not quite the right word. It, it's like, I miss the dialogue options in video games. I miss the, the description of different places in your favorite novel. I'm the adventure of a really good story. The way when you're first reading a book or playing a video game, if we're going to go there, you, if the story's good enough, then it captures your attention and holds it. And you absolutely adore playing through it, reading that book. And thinking of different media that I've gone through in my life and... And knowing that if I wanted to to read them again, to play through those games again, it wouldn't quite scratch that itch. It w I'd be bored part way through because I'd know that I'm not actually gaining anything from rereading it. I'd I'd know exactly where the story's gonna go. You know what's happening. You know what's going on. Books are a lot better to reread than games are to replay. I'm just going to put that out there. Maybe you agree or not. And so a lot of this applies a lot more to video games than it does to books. You can't... You just can't replay some video games. Others, you could, you could play hundreds of times. Maybe I'm just past that phase. Maybe I just can't do that. And some part of me is kind of sad about that. Uh, I don't think that's the issue, though. I don't. I don't think nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia. <laughs> Do you ever read a word so much that you know it? You know the definition. You know what it feels like. But saying it is difficult. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Who cares? Having that emotion, that feeling towards a place that's never been, I think is, is more of a symptom. A symptom of missing the friends that I had around at that time. My wife says I'm lonely. Maybe. Maybe. I, mean, I can see that being an issue. The friends I'm thinking of right now are a thousand miles away, and... We don't make a lot of time for each other to communicate or to hang out. We're all busy doing our own thing. And those own things, whatever they are, are very varied. This guy over here works in a factory. This guy over here makes lots of alcohol. This guy over here is figuring out how to run a business. That guy over there is a programmer. So, small talk between us has has almost dimmed out. It's, uh, how is work? It's work. <laughs> Who's really happy about it? And if we run into a problem, like right now I'm trying to figure out all kinds of stuff. Getting stores set up and trademarks figured out and books published and I'm... I'm feeling like a like a man walking around in a dark room and every now and then I'd, my flashlight batteries kick in. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, definitely go over there. And other times I'm, oh, sorry, I'm itching my ankle, so I'm kind of close to the camera. What's so, up? So sometimes I feel like my camera batteries come on and I figure out what to do and other times I just wish like I had some kind of partner or guidance in this thing and... I'm looking into different, different uh, 
peer programs. Like, hey, meetup.com exists. Why don't you go and pursue a hobby and meet some people? The other day we went to a wedding and it was great. Um, met some people there, reached out to them. They're busy too. <laughs> I know the way through this emotion, I, this feeling of like, I miss the internet as it was in like 2009, because that was, that was when I was reaching consciousness. And so everything on it was fresh and new and original. And you're like, wow, this thing that I just read is the funniest thing ever. And you and your friends would sit around and laugh about some forum post and some silly little piece of artwork or drawing and be kids, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe that. But I know that that feeling of, of wanting the internet from 2009, wanting to replay a video game, wanting to reach out to a friend that doesn't talk to you anymore. All that is, is a distraction for myself from what I've got going on in front of me, what I was just talking about, like setting up, setting up my business, setting up, uh, like writing a book, and getting that published. I'm very tired. Thank you so much for your patience as I ramble, by the way. All of that is just a distraction from me doing the things I need to do every day. I, I'm, I might be lonely, the way the wife says, and that might be coming out as wishing for those older times, feeling nostalgic for something fun and familiar, an adventure I've already had. A place online that I'll never see again. Some of those some of those websites don't even exist anymore. It's so weird. How do you how do you explain that to like the, the generation that came before you? I, oh yes, I took part in a, a forum online that no longer exists. So like we just we had a, a poster board of ideas. And you're like, oh, what was the poster board about? Like job postings or political stuff? Like, nope. It was just people being ridiculous. <laughs> and it was awesome. <laughs> and they're like, okay, what's a website? And you're like, oh. And that's kind of an exaggeration. Obviously, I think my parents know what a website is. But I. I know that I'm seeking external validation, some kind of external stimulation, and anything that I try to scratch that itch with will leave me feeling hollow. It won't, it won't actually work, because what I need to do is go inward. What I need to do is center myself. And breathe and produce content, produce results, produce progress towards my goals. I need to act. If you're lonely, go talk to people. What did those video games teach me? You talk to literally everyone, every stranger. They give you quests, they become your companions, they Whatever. They, they provide those memories that I'm nostalgic for. You should do that in real life. Talk to everyone. <laughs> in a friendly way. I mean, if someone's got headphones in, leave them alone. They want to be alone. What are you doing? <laughs> so I know what I have to do. And still, here I am. Kind of just wanting to reread that book. Wanting to call that friend. Be like, you want to hang out? We buy a ticket immediately. The flight's only four hours. <laughs> it's also kind of weird. Yeah, have you ever encountered this situation where you're like, you think, I'm going to go into a social environment. I'm going to interact with other people. Here we go. And then you get out there, and you're like, I immediately want to be back in my bedroom. Definitely don't want to be here. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure everyone can relate to that. So that's my goal for this next week. It's not... Not necessarily to be more social. That that was a little misleading, that little intro. Um, but every morning, I'm going to be breathing. <laughs> Definitely going to be focusing, visualizing on what I want for that day. On what I want to get done for the week, for this month, but mostly that day. What's going to happen on Monday, I will think, on Monday morning. I will go at it from a place of gratitude for what I already have. I will organize my thinking so that it's only on that one thing. What am I doing right now? What do I want to accomplish? How will I get it done? And the how isn't really that important. It's more of, like, why do I want it? Is it valid enough to me to pursue? Okay. Now, how do you say it? Like, like you fill yourself with intention. Really visualize yourself doing the thing. And and how you actually do it, the what of what you're usually doing, doesn't really matter. The The way this was explained to me was actually through a group exercise. So uh, you're all instructed to dance across the room, right? And you, you have to get from one side of the room to the other. And everyone watches you. You go one at a time. And you can't copy anyone else. So what you find surprising is that as you're dancing across the floor that's how I dance isn't that great uh, <laughs> you're not thinking about how to dance what dance move you're going to do you're focused on getting across the room that's what my morning visualizations are like I'm not thinking like, how will I write this chapter I'm thinking I'm going to write a chapter the point is the chapter that's going to be written so that's that's my goal for the week, is to reinitialize those visualizations, because the past two weeks, I have been neglecting them, and it's making that feeling grow, like I need to reach out externally to fulfill myself. Not true. I need to go internally, produce results, be happy with who I am, where I am, at all times. Or I won't be happy anywhere with any kind of stimulation with any kind of external influence. Ever. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great night. I'm going to give that friend a call now. Night. Then if I may